Why is it that therapists often find themselves at odds when trying to secure government contracts? The answer lies not in the lack of opportunities, but rather in understanding the process. Today, we delve into the labyrinth of government contracts, simplifying it for therapists worldwide. First, it's crucial to understand why government contracts are worth the effort. Government contracts offer stability and a consistent stream of income, making them highly desirable for many businesses, including therapy practices. However, the process of securing these contracts can seem daunting. The first step in this journey is to ensure you are registered as a business, as this is a prerequisite for any government contract. Register your practice with the appropriate government agencies such as SAM.gov. This registration process will give you a unique identification number which will be used to track your applications and contracts. Once registered, it's time to get certified. Government agencies often set aside contracts for small businesses or those owned by women, veterans, or minorities. If you fall into any of these categories, seek out the necessary certifications. Keep in mind, though, that being certified does not guarantee a contract. It simply makes you eligible for certain opportunities. Next, familiarize yourself with the government's procurement process. This involves understanding how contracts are advertised, how bids are submitted, and how contracts are awarded. Websites like FedBizOps in the United States list available contracts and provide detailed instructions on how to submit a bid. Now, you're ready to start bidding. Make sure your bid is competitive yet realistic. Underbidding can lead to financial strain, while overbidding can result in lost opportunities. Your bid should demonstrate the value your practice brings to the table, so don't be afraid to highlight your successes and expertise. Finally, keep a keen eye on your contract's performance. Delivering on your promises and maintaining a good relationship with your contract officer can lead to more opportunities in the future. To recap, securing a government contract as a therapist involves registering your business, obtaining necessary certifications, understanding the procurement process, submitting competitive bids, and delivering on your contracts. While the process may seem complex, breaking it down into these manageable steps can make it far less intimidating. Remember, the journey to securing a government contract is not a sprint, but a marathon. It may take time and patience, but the stability and consistent income that come with these contracts can be well worth the effort. So, gear up, take the first step, and venture into the world of government contracts. The rewards could be extraordinary.